What's going on, guys? Yo, can y'all believe I got a hole in my lucky shirt? I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna keep it. It's my lucky shirt. But Fall dropped an update. Now, well, here's the thing. Let me let me rephrase it. Not necessarily an update, but what they gave us is more like an update on the updates. Check it out. All right, guys, so I'm going to keep it a little interesting here. I'm going to go ahead and have this little uh, kind of gift that they provided us in this update playing in the background. First of all, let me know down below what you guys think of these animations and do you care? Now, I want to go ahead and move on forward here. Let's talk about a couple of things beforehand. Now, they actually mentioned several different aspects of their things that are to come right but the biggest one is that they mentioned well hey well we're still going to have our dev vlogs but what we're going to do is we're actually going to start doing weekly updates this is either going to tell you what the game is coming up with you know because one of the major uh criticisms as far as fault has been simply the fact that there there's some staleness to it you know what i mean like dropping an update every three to five weeks and having it be substantial isn't necessarily the same as an update every week and you know it's there people are adjusting something to look forward to etc so what they said is there's going to start doing weekly updates on top of everything now in this specific i'm, I'm assuming this is going to be like the first weekly update that they're doing so in this specific uh, post that they make, they talk about several different things that are coming either in this very next update or soon to come in the future. Now, that's the caveat. They don't necessarily go into detail and confirming like, hey, you are going to get this. You are not going to get this on this day. Like, then that would be one of my criticisms. I understand that in the past, Timelines might have not been uh, Strange Matter Studios' best friend, but I really do feel like they should at least give some timeline to, to the gamers. That way we have at least some approximation of what's going on. But they mentioned uh, VFX and sound effects system reworks. Yeah, long story short, what this comes down to is the fact that it's going to be, e they're redesigning this system. So it is easier to add, implement, and change heroes, abilities, character models, all that stuff, all the tools that they need for creating a hero. So it's easier down the road, which means they'll be able to add heroes faster. Uh, not only that, they're going to be able to add tier three and tier four skins. They're going to be able to add animations to skins. For example, Summer Fun Twin Blast might actually end up shooting water here soon. I don't know. I hope so. But I got to say, uh, that's a it, it, it's a good thing to hear that they're taking a step in the right direction. Now, I understand this might not necessarily be a change that we're going to see something immediate, but I like that for the future of Fault because it shows progression and it shows that they're keeping in mind the longevity of the game, but they're not just planning for, hey, in two years, you'll be happy there it shows that hey like we're making changes that are going to help us out within the next three months but those changes are also going to help us out within the next two years for example so i do like that side there they also mentioned that they are making adjustments to the client side prediction system essentially it's going to provide a smoother experience with little to no delay lag if possible now there was a time frame where they actually took that client side prediction system off and bro let me tell you i was missing abilities like nobody's business because it is one of those things that you you learn to compensate for the client side prediction system and if it's not there it's like it's like you got to rewire your thought process so the fact that they were working on this system to make it as smooth as possible is good specifically for individuals with higher ping. Now, moving forward, they mentioned they're doing an ability casting system rework. 
Now, this is interesting because I, I didn't necessarily find too much of a problem with the way some abilities were casted, but I did have some gripes. Like, for example, how Greystone, when his blades are spinning around him, if you stun him, it, like, it acts a certain way. But then if you got Narbash and he's in the middle of his ultimate getting stunned, that acts a specific way. Like, there, there's some things that just don't kind of, like, they don't really make sense as far as what they chose. I don't know. A lot of those were not independent choices. Like, hey, we want it to be this way. But they mentioned that the way stuns affects players and opposing heroes. So, that's an interesting statement right there. The way a stun affects a player and the opposing hero. Now, does that mean that if I stun the enemy... Uh, are is there going to be like an added cooldown because i stunned or will that mean if i stunned now like there's cooldown reduction if i did let my it's interesting it just sounds like they're trying to rework the whole uh ability system in general because they mentioned not only that they mentioned abilities cooldowns how and when mana is consumed and much more like how and when mana is consumed i'm assuming that's right along the reference of like if you're going to cast your ult you didn't fully cast it but you were mid animation and you got stunned are you going to have a reduced cooldown are you going to only lose partial mana those are all little things that are interesting concepts and some of them were in paragon at some given point in time so the fact that they're considering all these options i'm interested in what they actually choose to do with them and how they implement them that's a whole other story we'll talk about that when we get there moving forward they mentioned input buffering now this one i don't know how i feel about i really don't know how i feel about because a lot of experienced players or good players they'll tell you that they don't it's it's very similar to in fighting games right whenever you play a fighting game you have precise inputs that you execute when the time is right like if i'm gonna drop a gideon rock i wait for that split second till my animation ends and bam i click my gideon rock but there might be a lot of people that are just spamming the rock spamming the rock like come on three two one now it drop so they're they're put they're developing some sort of input buffering here and essentially as a whole they mentioned that subsequent abilities and commands can be queued to automatically occur for example let's say you're a graystone you're in your ult and you pop up into the sky as you're falling down if you hit your q and, and want to summon those blades it, it it will wait until the animation of the ultimate finishes and then your blades pop up so i can see how that might be beneficial at times so maybe it'll be like an uh like if you have it like on instacast you get me you could do graystone aoe and then immediately focus on your leap because now you don't have to activate your aoe i get situations like that but um I, i'm not necessarily sure why this is something that's being focused on let me know in the comments below like maybe it's just something that i am not used to or i'm maybe i'm not aware that this is a situation that really needs addressing within the game in its own but I, it's just in my mindset, I'm still stuck on that fighting game mentality. I execute my ability when I need to. I don't sit here spamming, you know, like I don't sit here spamming my R because I need to cast my ultimate. Like, no, as soon as I press R, that's when I want my ultimate to cast. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, interesting enough, they do mention they're bringing river objectives. Now they're calling them shrines. I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with the new map. Who knows? But they are adding river buffs to the jungle. Now, this current map, it doesn't have a river, but they are calling it a river objective. What does that mean? I'll let you guys ponder. Let me know what you think down below as well. But they are adding shrines, which are going to be different buffs, and they're going to give you different effects. They don't mention what those effects are going to be. They don't mention how many effects there are going to be, and whether it's going to be randomizing, whether it's going to be a set buff but they are going to be in the jungle. My best guess would be if they add it to the current map, and that's a big if, I don't know if they're going to. This might all be for the new map, and that's maybe why they're calling, they're saying river objectives, because maybe the new map has a confirmed river, right? 
uh, which, you know, they kind of showed us a little bit in the rough drawing of the map that they showed. But my thing is, if it were to come to the current map in fault, at the at right as in the middle section of the jungle entrances, it looks like there's a spot on both sides of the map for a buff. And then on mid lane, as soon as you turn the corner, there's like a little cubby by Raptor Pit and Prime Pit that also looks like a position for a buff. So they definitely could add it right now. I don't know if they're going to though, right? Now, to finish off, let's talk about the heads up display. Now, I like that they're addressing it, right? It's been a while. I definitely, like, I hate to be the one that points it out, but in five months, it's going to be a year since the heads up display got mentioned. So I'm hoping that the heads up display comes before the year mark. They don't mention any dates as to when it's coming, but they did, for example, provide this animation that we've been looking at here for a, a little bit as far as things that they've been working on in the background. And then they mentioned that they're going to provide a full list of everything that's changing with the heads up display in the next dev vlog. So something to look forward to is going to be the next dev vlog. But I want to talk about this picture that I'm showing now. This picture, I really, really like. I don't know how big this is on the screen, right? So uh, that's gonna be some criticism from me. Now, if the 36.5 that you see there, <coughs> if that's your death timer, and that's about the same size as the icons for your abilities, that's not too bad of a size, right? But I like the death recap. What it says is 4890. First of all, who the fuck was 4890 HP? This must have been a Severog, or there must be some something going on inside with the you know with some items being worked on or something like that. Because 4890, holy shit, I don't know who you are, but I gotta meet you. Now, they mention here physical damage, and you can see here basic attacks, physical abilities, dominions hit you. You can see the tower, uh, the tower hits you, physical damage, right? And then Interestingly enough, it also mentions the time frame, like the, all that damage happened within eight seconds. Interesting. Nice to know. Um, and what percentage, how responsible that individual was for your demise, basically, and their total damage. But this, this is what's super interesting to me, right? Look at this here, guys. I see 1621 physical damage, 781 energy damage, right? Because I'm seeing energy damage here off of different procs like explode the explosion of the bubble i see apocalyptic epitome did 48 damage on a sparrow weird flex uh but then i see 492 in white damage now if you notice there's nothing on this screen that shows what the 492 is right absolutely nothing now we see when minions hit you, it comes across as basic attacks. When a tower hits you, it comes across as basic attacks. When abilities hit you, they come across as abilities, purple. What is the white damage? What is that 492 that was responsible for 17% of this man or woman's health? I don't know. But we also see on here on the top right, you see you're gonna be able to hide and show the details. Uh, you're gonna be able to open shop screen. That's a nice little indicator for those that, you know, either don't know because they're new at the game. As soon as they died, it'll be like, oh, that's how I open the item shop screen. Okay. Um, also, it says next ally view. So I'm assuming that means just rotating between your, your allies for spectating. Or does that mean you're going to be able to see the death cap of another ally that's also dead? That's kind of interesting because, you know, like, let's say, let's say me, the support and the carry died. I got melted by the carry. Right. But the support barely did damage to me. Now, if I can look at my recap and my carry's recap and I see I was like, whoa, my carry got melted by their support. Oh, I got to do something about that. My carry, my carry was doing fine against their carry, but it was their, it was their support that fucked them up. I got to do something about it. If I can see somebody else's death recap, if you died at the same time or within close range of each other, or if it's just, you can, you can switch between the death recaps while you guys are dead, no matter how long ago they died. 
Like if I'm about to spawn in five seconds and you spawn in 36 seconds, if I can swap over for five seconds and look at your death recap, that's, I kind of like that. I don't know if that's what that means. I hope so. You guys let me know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just stuck on uh, this, this white value right here, the 17% no idea what the hell that is supposed to mean but yeah guys that's pretty much it um this uh update on the updates that they released was more of hey this is what's to come but there isn't really too much solidity as far as hey this is what you're getting soon or next patch or anything like that Th it, there isn't much validity and you know uh, let's just wait on the next dev blog to see what they are actually going to release they said they're going to be mentioning a full release a full list there but uh yeah honestly I i'm liking the direction that they're heading let's see how it goes and as always till next time